up, Scorpio? Kings, queens, and everything in between. I am Austria of Unbothered Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury in regards to a general versus message for the 25th through the 31st. Please keep in mind the time frame is specifically for me. And whenever you see this message, that's when you are meant to see it. It can be past, present, or future. If it resonates, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If not, check out your other placements, Moon Rising, Venus, and Mercury. This is mutual energy between you and the person that's most prevalent on your mind. Thank you, Spirit, for coming to this message. This was Scorpio, cool Sun, Moon Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay, so I feel like, um, okay. All right. Yeah, see, <laughs> we got disharmony, triggers, and conflict. So some of you guys are definitely in a period of separation or not seeing eye to eye with your person here. Transformation and Pluto, this is your energy here, Scorpio. So this is the energy of like turning your back on someone. Also an energy of things not moving forward. Energy of, you know, some sort of abandonment here. All right, let's get a little bit more. Contracts, careers, and commitments here. All right. So, thank you, Sarah, for clear and concise messages. Okay. All right. We got nostalgia and memories in the reverse. Somebody don't want to even think about the memories, right? Somebody is in the energy like, fuck all that shit. Decisions here. It's like, do you want to give this shit another chance or not? I'm getting like somebody has that option or somebody is thinking about if they, you know, want to give this a chance. But we got cycles, change, completion, which is like the world card for me in this deck, which is Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and your energy, Scorpio. Trust, divine time, and beliefs and facade in the reverse. So it's like the, everything is going to come out to light. You're going to see everything as it is, right? Or this could be the energy now that you're facing, seeing everything how it is right now, right? Um, also, for a lot of you, you I really see like um, some of y'all like chose to no longer be dealing with somebody. And when you chose that, this person became childish, maybe not wanting to offer you shit or do shit for your um, kid. Or this is the energy where like um, this you you upgraded right and now this person and they fucking feelings right um but definitely getting some of you guys are definitely in separation from your person all right so we got copycat here someone is mimicking everything that you do meeting two or more people planning or discussing opening up i closed the doors before but now i'm i'm ready to let you in so i feel like this person is wanting to come into union with you um they're wanting to talk to you try to get on the same page with you here for some of you this person wants to express their feelings for you for others it's a sense of like somebody's wanting to be apologetic right um somebody's also in the energy of wanting to make someone feel jealous here um because for some of you like those of you that have gotten into another relationship or seeing someone new this person want to tell you about the new person that they seeing or so like childish petty ass shit like that okay give me more here for scorpio's person all right so we got the eight of pentacles here the ten of pentacles here and the ten of swords mm. so it's like now this person is ready to put forth the effort to have this familial dynamic right they want to have this now right especially after a feeling of disappointment or a feeling of this separation is really fucking started to like they're they're it's like it's like they're starting to feel it now right they're starting to feel the separation they're starting to feel the fact that you know um whatever feeling that you brought to the home or whatever feeling that you brought to their life they're starting to feel it's missing right they're starting to feel it missing from the, their lives here so now this person is ready to like pull forth an effort figure out what they need to do to actually progress this relationship moving forward right i like they can even be trying to like do more things with the kids um shit that you have been asking them them to do now they're willing to like do this shit we got the empress um here in the reverse towards libra energy the four wands in the reverse and then we got the five of wands in the reverse so yeah like i said 
definitely an energy where you guys separated here especially with the four of wands that's definitely about some sort of rejection or at the very least not being productive in your partnership right and with the empress it's like this person wasn't happy so this person stepped out in the union that's what i'm really getting this person decided to put you in competition with others because of their own issues that they were dealing with within themselves for some of you are dealing with somebody that was jealous of what you were doing and like 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 say you were making more money than this person or you were um getting more recognition more successful or something like this this person was having issues with that right this person was dealing with their own emotional imbalance here all right and i feel like this is something that you could have possibly intuitively intuitively known and you asked this person about it and they fucking lied let's see your your intention here all right so we got cuffing season the season for relationships are coming up settlement agreement compromise jealousy we got it kills me knowing that it could be someone else in your life so for some of you i feel like you're in the energy where this person gets you like i said trying to make you jealous and it fucking works and you're in a place where it's like okay so i want to see where this could go right for others this is i feel like you're in a place where it's like you know okay fine well we could just do what's best for the kids because i have other options any fucking way that's the energy like well okay cute <laughs> now i got i got other options anyway all right so go ahead about your business let's just figure this shit out so we can co-parent effectively all right give me more here about the intentions for scorpio okay, so all right so we got the eight of cups the Ten of Pentacles and the uh, Fudge. Cancer Energy Moon card. Goodness. Okay. So I feel like you guys are definitely in a place where it's like you're you're on a journey to be happy. You're on a journey to get everything that you want. Some of you just want to be in a place where um, it's like you want to have their support moving forward, but maybe not necessarily in a relationship with them, right? Some of you are deciding that you're moving past that shit. It's like, okay, well, this needs to end. We can move past this and go on to something else, a different type of relationship, which is co-parenting, right? Um, but it's a little part of you that I feel like is kind of still holding on to this or a little part of you that kind of feels like, you know... Um, maybe you're being too rash maybe you should give it another chance or maybe another you know thought about not you know disrupting your familial unit here right it's some sort of anxiety that you're feeling when it comes to this separation or really deciding to walk away from this from um this person right but i also feel like a lot of you are ready to really open up yourself to something different you're ready to be honest with yourself and the people around you about how you feel right it's like a lot of you feel like you have kept shit um bogged down like not really being completely honest to like um satisfy others around you and it's like no fuck that uh page of pentacles here the nine of swords and the seven of cups so i was like you know, you, in the recent past, I feel like you really defended this relationship that you have with this person. Um, and it wasn't easy for you to do so either. You had fucking options that you could have, um, you know, went off with. You know what I'm saying? There was other people around you. I'm also getting that a lot of you, like I said, you brought this shit to this person, you know, tr trying to see like what was going on. Because a lot of you had intuitively known that some shit was going on and this person just continued to lie to you and that just really irritated you and i feel like for a lot of you that shit was stressing you the fuck out it was like how are you gonna just keep lying like that if i feel it then that shit is real and i feel like you were trying to like just get an understanding so that you can move forward and know how to move right but this person wouldn't even offer you that they wouldn't even allow you that let's get your person's challenge here scorpio so we got confusion confusion and conflict may be going on at this time roller coaster highest high adrenaline rush deception i lie to you because i'm afraid of the choices you'll make i bet 
so this is definitely that energy like your person is afraid of the choices that you make i feel like this person is also very confused about how to get back on the right track with you because they understand that they fucking track record is bumpy as fuck you know i feel like this person is also trying to overcome all of the fucking lies that they've told so it's like how can i trust you right how can i believe anything that you say that's what happened when you're a fucking liar Let's see what, what else we have here for the challenge here for Scorpio's person. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so we have the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, I mean, Page of Swords, and Leo's energy with the Sun. So this person is holding back a lot of their interests, right? A lot of their interest here, I feel like this person is holding back a lot of the interest that they have. This person really wants to talk to you. They really want to express to you how they feel. But for whatever the reason, this person is holding this shit back. Um, for some of you, this person could be holding back some additional shit that they did um, in order to like keep the peace here or, or some shit like that is what I just heard for some of you. But yeah, this person is definitely holding some shit back here from you. And I feel like this person really wants to be happy with you, but they really need to start being open and honest in order for that shit to happen. Because how are you going to... It's like, how are you going to lie, cheat, shit, some of them stole money from you? Like, what the fuck? It's like, how are you going to do all of these things and then say that you want to be with me? It's like, this person has a very hard time being completely open and honest. And I don't know, for some of you, I feel like this because of, like, this person's childhood. Ten of Wands here in the reverse. The Justice card in the reverse. Libra energy. And, yeah, see, and the fucking Ace of Swords in the reverse. I feel like this person was at a distant distance in the recent past because of a lot of anxiety that they were going through with themselves like i said like this person has a lot of chaos going on with themselves okay they're confused about a lot or at least in the recent past they were i feel like this is what caused them like for some of them they were thinking about how you were too good for them and this is why they did the shit that they did like it's like this person resented a lot of the shit that you had going on or resented like they didn't feel good enough in this relationship or some shit like this whatever the case may be this is why this person lied this is why this person cheated this is why this person was being manipulative which is fucking ridiculous like it's weird as hell like why all right and for some of you this person has like uh, like it's like this person doesn't have faith in like true love or something like this weird all right let's get your person let's get your challenge sorry y'all we got self-reflection taking a moment to reflect magnetic unexplained pull can't resist making an effort i'm willing to put in the work to have our happily ever after so like i said those decisions right you're kind of trying like i said you're trying to figure out what you want and i feel like this is a challenge for you because a lot of you feel this connection to them and it's something that you feel like you can't necessarily really get away from and it's like what do i want but a lot of you are like how you how can you keep putting yourself through this shit with this person i feel like that's what you say to yourself like how can i keep putting myself through this though it's like we we never get on the same page some of you feel like you're not even your true self with this person Give me more here. You don't feel like this person is loyal. Give me more here. What about the challenge here? Thank you. All right. So we got the um, world card here. Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. The Ten of Swords here in the reverse. That's crazy. And then we have the Queen of Swords here. So, yeah, this is definitely that energy of, you know, deciding like, okay, I need to decide whether or not I want to end this, have closure, move on, or if I want to have some sort of new beginning. I really think that you guys are kind of trying to make a head of a hard decision. Like y'all trying to think logically instead of thinking emotionally right now about what you want to do moving forward. Um, especially those of you that have kids here, it's the energy of like, I don't want to just make some sort of like haphazardly a uh, choice that's gonna not only affect me but also affect my kids all right and i'm also getting like you know it's definitely a sense of like not wanting to abandon something not wanting to fail at something we got the four of swords 
the five of cups and the chariot card cancer's energy we got taurus energy here with the higher font i feel like you know you've always been in the energy where it's like you wanted this you knew what you wanted you knew how you wanted this relationship to progress and i feel like you always put in the effort to give a certain level of balance to this relationship right i feel like you forgave a lot especially if this person was sleeping around on you i feel like this is these are things that you felt like you had to forgive i feel like you and this person had a lot of time out in this relationship it's like but you kept progressing kept moving forward except like this last time where it was like what the fuck like i'm tired of this shit you know what i'm saying it was like wh why why do i have to continue to go through this i don't put you through this so why do i have to deal with this let's see a person's actions we got altercation a physical altercation may break out recalling reminiscing memories returning happiness you bring you bring me more happiness than i could ever imagine more about that sun card right and i feel like this is the energy that this person is coming in they're they're willing to fight to have this relationship with you but for some of you that could the altercation could I got that the altercation could be like them with um, a new person that you could possibly be dealing with here. Whoever they feel is standing in between them and their happiness and they feel like their happiness is you. But I'm not saying that this person gonna do right, so I'm telling you right now, listen, use y'all fucking discernment. All right, give me more about the actions here for Scorpio's person. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so we got the Three of Pentacles here, the Judgment card, and the... Four of Swords in the reverse here. So I feel like this is definitely an energy where this person is going to act like they're ready to... Um, it's like this person... Okay. All right. So they want to put forth that effort towards you to you know reconcile this relationship they want to be open and honest with you they want to have some sort of clarity here they want to put in that effort but it's also a little in energy of like this person still being at some sort of distance still not letting still not being completely honest here with you scorpio because judgment is scorpio energy right so it's like still not being completely open completely honest and this does not necessarily have to be the dishonesty of things that they are doing on the side this could just be them telling you the truth about how and why they are the way that they are or the internal chaos that is going on within them because a lot of them are dealing with that shit and instead of them expressing it they are acting out in the way of a child like what the fuck six of pentacles here the five of pentacles and the knight of wands here so okay so yeah i feel like this person definitely you know definitely was an energy where i feel like this person really liked their freedom um even though they did want to rebuild this relationship here with you in the recent past they didn't really add much to it right they didn't really offer you much here in regards to this relationship right it was like this person kept being in a place where they you guys were always in recovery like i just said it's like it's it was never smooth sailing right it was always like until the next shoe drops let's get your actions we got manifest your desires are within reach searching online looking for records info gift here's a small token of my love so for some of you i feel like you're trying to find reasons for for you to stay with this person right um i'm also getting that some of you are in a place where you're going to be searching on social media to like kind of like back up everything that this person could be saying or this is a um okay for some of you, you're deciding, like, if you had someone that was interested in you, you're going to tell this person that, you know, like, I can't, you know, talk to you anymore or something like that. Like, I, I have to, I have to leave, you know, you alone. Could be done with the cat. Oh, shit. I didn't even know all of them cards came out. Okay, well. Oh, okay. So... So we got Aries energy with the tower, Capricorn with the devil, and then the two of swords. So this is definitely this energy where I feel like at some point you guys kind of make the decision that you feel like is best for you, right? You you make your choice. You have clarity and you decide exactly what you want to do. Now, what that, what that thing is, yeah, it's up to you guys, you know? But I feel like it's definitely a sense of like you're releasing 
any anything to do with like responsibility anything to do with like um like you have to do it like societal norms type shit and you're doing what you want to do that's the energy that i'm getting and for some of you that's going to be walking away you're like i can manifest a whole new you i can manifest a whole new life because again, you felt like, you know, when these secrets came out and you found out that this person wasn't being completely honest and they weren't giving you, um, you know, what you deserved in this relationship, I feel like you were at a place where it's like, okay, well, I can move on too. I, I, it was so much, it's like, it's so much stuff that you wanted to do too. There's so many people that are attracted to you too. Why do you feel like I don't get that same fucking energy? You know what I'm saying? And it was like, okay, so this was this was your chance. This was your shot to go ahead and step out and do the shit that you wanted to do. Let's get some messages from your ancestors and guides here. Scorpio, thank you, Spirit, for coming to tell us messages. For Scorpio, something like something that's in my like Listen, I need time for me. And that's okay. Cancer said that shit too. Some of y'all could be dealing with the cancer. Says, I sometimes wonder if you care. 13, 13, really? That's the death card and that's your fucking energy. Because how can I, how can you know for sure? Shit, you are right. Anything that you're feeling, you right. Don't second guess yourself. I feel the same way. I want to first start with you. Yeah, I bet you they do. Wait. See, look. They want you to wait for them. They want you to continue to prolong this shit. Listen, because they are terrified and because they don't want to lose you. But I'm sorry, baby. That's not how this shit be working. You can't just keep on making choices and not getting consequences let's see what signs you guys are dealing with during this time please be sure to like share comment and subscribe you guys thank you thank you stand for fitness okay hold on y'all you dropped my card all right so we got venus um taurus libra energy we got taurus again we got fire aries leo sagittarius we got Aries. Then we got Mars, Aries. What the fuck? I mean, I'm definitely dealing with the Aries. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.